the man just signed a $200 million extension and um, you can't be mad at that. Um, you definitely can't be mad at the fact that he has a much better looking shoe for the second version of the Jordan Zion series. The paper in the one though, this is the one, has uh, it's kind of like a cellophane almost with Zion written on the paper. Um, definitely gonna go to the stamp and the stamp is 12, 29, 21, 23. So 12, 29, 21 is pretty straightforward there. I'm gonna drop that down, go to the size label, which is VW1, and that's made in Vietnam, and the dates of production, 07, 13, 21 to 12, 07, 21, were perfect as far as the dates. A lot of that stuff is lining up, and that's, uh, that's good, considering all the slowdown in the chains. But I guess what happens over in Vietnam or China where the shoes are being made is, they can't get them off of assembly and stamp them as long as people are there inside of the factory and make sure all the QC is done. And in many instances, the Jordan brand product that's performance-based, the quality control on these, on these shoes tends to be much better than it is on the retros. I don't know what that means. This is the best looking colorway I've seen in the Jordan's eye on one. Because that outsole is dope. It's like a pearlized, translucent kind of this off-white kind of translucent outsole with gold flecks in it. I'm seeing some small details on the shoe that I hadn't seen before. Let's dance on the internal, on the medial side here. There's the air zoom here at the front. And just things that I didn't notice on like the Planet Z when I did the Planet Z. Now, the this is not a herringbone pattern. It is a bunch of Z's it looks like. Back and forth, kind of crisscross. Almost looks like a fingerprint even. I'm trying to see what those say on it. It is hard to read that. Spartanburg. Oh, you know what? I think I found those last time. Spartanburg flow. And then it has some other details. I did on the original. So if you go to the original version of the Planet Z, I did. I was able to see those cues that are on here with the let's dance and that information that's on the bottom of the shoe. I was able to see it the last time. And I made sure that I put it in the previous video. So I apologize for acting like I didn't do it. I did do it. I tend to do that. Anyway, um, let's get to the close up. I spent way too much time on this thing. But I'll do the label first. Jordan Zion 1, Fossil Midnight Navy White, style code DA3130241. So the Zion is a hyperfused model here at the heel. Uh, it used a lot of synthetics on it versus the new version that uses leathers and uh, suede and more traditional basketball materials, and it gives the shoe an incredible look. The Zion 2 is a big upgrade over this model. This one is a sturdy basketball performance shoe, but it was not one that ever really translated to something people would wear off the court. The two, you're gonna see people wearing the two off the court. But let's get to a close up on this one and keep it moving. Close up. So just to get a nice look at the Jordan Zion one, which is a super cushioned high impact shoe because Zion's such a big guy, I just wanted you guys to be able to see it, and you can see those gold flecks in that translucent outsole. Gives it a really nice look, that gold speckled paint around the navy here. And this is the home colorway for the New Orleans Pelicans, and we know that Zion is doing what? He's staying with his team. He got paid on that extension. I have to wonder, though, if it has a ton of incentives because he stays hurt. Now, the other day, if you saw my Jordan Zion video uh, for the Jordan 2, and I talked about the way Zion lands, I'll give you a medial shot like that instead of the real close up and put this back up here. When we talk about the way Zion lands, and I said that I'm very worried about his um, jump mechanics, this shoe is for impact, but a lot of uh, Zion's issues are not with the design of his shoes. It's the way he lands. And I'm going to reiterate and talk to you guys about that because this is a great shoe. Don't think that he ever got hurt because of his shoes. He gets hurt because he lands with a straight leg and typically on one leg. Even in that video where he dunked on a little kid. I just recognize his rib stop here. 
even in that video where he dunks on that little kid at the camp, watch when he lands. His leg is straight. And I'm like, dude, your jump mechanics, even when you're just messing around, I really hope it's like, you know, could he ever see the video that I did? Probably not. But I hope someone sits down and says, hey, man, it's your jump mechanics. It's not your weight and everything. It is your weight, but it's not that solely. It's your jump mechanics. Your jump mechanics are off. Anyway, let's wrap that up and move on. I know y'all are like, dude, you're giving a whole lecture in a shoe video. Yes, I am. Zion Williams. Williamson. Jump man on the tongue. A little bit of padding here. Zion 2 is much better. This one is now on sale at the clearance stores. Actually at the factory stores. The clearance stores don't have them. And they do have them, they'll cut the box top off on them. But you can get these down there at the clearance stores, at the factory stores with an additional 30% off. Hopefully I'll edit this and you can go down there and catch that sale. See you guys on the next one. Z's all over the place. Peace.